So this is another Firebird I looked at the same day that I got the GTA. And eh, I didn't know if I wanted it or not. I uh, ended up taking apart the dash on the GTA because it's a digital dash. I didn't know, but I, apparently a digital dash harness is way different than a regular dash harness. I don't spend enough time on third gen to, I guess, lesson learned. So, uh, but anyways, I looked at this the same day and it had a couple of items that was kind of made it worth it. Um, I just didn't know if I wanted a, a second car for, if I needed a second car for parts. So, I, uh, I bought this for $600. It's a 87 Firebird Formula TPI 5 speed. Uh, this is going to be my storage slash mock up parts car. But keep in mind, I spent $600 for this. Uh, so none of the metal, I'm not worried about any of the metal, I'm not doing anything to it. Uh, pretty much the GTA, all the interiors coming over to this. I'm going to sell the GTA seats. I'll put the drive line into this car and cut up the GTA. I'll use the metal from that to fix my formula and sell off the stuff I don't need or want. Uh, this one, the formula hood's not too bad. I might sell it. I don't really need a third formula hood. Uh, it's definitely rusted. Um, or at least it has the transmission. All the slave cylinder stuff. Uh, firewall is definitely rusted. Uh, this is about as good as the GTA. I mean, I think this one's a little bit worse than the GTA. Anything's fixable if you want to fix it. I'm just, I already got one. That's all I need. <clears throat> but if you're looking at an 82 to 92 Firebird, uh, as far as rust, obviously everyone knows floors rust on them, whether it's a hard top or a T top. Doesn't matter. Floor is the first thing you need to look at. Well, actually, not the first thing. That's like the last thing you need to look at. That's one of the items to look for as far as rust issues. Floors, the firewalls are another common issue for them. Then that's another issue area is the arch of the wheel well. They usually rust out. All where the hood release cable comes through and all your wiring and your fuse block. All that. This is the corner that really goes south uh, below the AC box that usually rots out. So these fenders are rusted. Uh, the pillars are another area, but outside of buying them for parts cars, if you're buying one that you would actually want, the very first thing you need to look at is whether or not the VIN number is rusted away. I don't know how many people know, but this is like the biggest issue on these cars uh, because that little pocket that it sits in just fills full of water. If there's any kind of a water leak and it rots out the VIN. This one, the VIN's completely gone. Obviously, it makes it a parts car. Uh, the VIN, you, if you can't read all the GM stamping around it, it's, I mean, it should be black with GM stamping or silver GM stampings in there. If you can't read it or you can't really make out the VIN, it's not even worth buying it. You're not going to get another VIN. I doubt any state's going to issue a new VIN. So, then you got to pull the windshield out. Anyways, so... That's what makes it a parts car for me. Uh, the roof is actually a good roof. It's not rusted. It's not rusted along the lip. I mean, outside the lower portion of it. Well, uh, well there's the in interior. Here it is, another car. Uh, apparently, nobody can keep track of keys for cars. So, this is another one that doesn't have keys. I, I don't know. I, don't, I have keys for everything that I've had. 
and everything that I have. I have two sets of keys, but somehow everyone loses them. So there's another column I'm going to take apart. Well, no, I got a column, so I don't really take it apart. But it's got a 350 block. Uh, the mount went through the back of the seat. So I don't really need the seat. I think these are Camaro seats. I don't know. They're going into garbage. The whole interior is going into garbage. I don't need any of it. Uh, the center console. I already have three other consoles that are in better condition. But at least this gives me the five-speed top. Uh, right there in the middle, you can see it's melted. I guess the cigarette burned or something. But power mirror switch. If I cut it out, I can put a power mirror switch in there. That's if I do a five-speed. I mean, we all know Camaros and Firebirds don't need to be five speeds to be fast. Only Mustangs need a five speed. I wouldn't buy an automatic Mustang. I don't know who would. But these, these you can just get away with an automatic. But it's got a 140 cluster. Uh, I believe on 5.0 TPI cars. Uh, if you got it with a manual, you got it with a 140 cluster. If you got it with an auto, is a 120 GTAs 140 400 through 50 140 obviously anyone that's into these knows you can't get a five speed behind a five seven but yeah got it out completely I uh, switch all the GTA black interior over get some 90 to 92 firebird seats I like those better the GTA seats you're stuck at an angle I mean, they're power lumbar, power all this stuff, but you're still stuck at an angle. And I don't like it. I would really like the 91, 92 seats, 90, I guess. But I'll put my 90 to 92 dash in there. I'll switch this harness over to that dash. I have the brackets which hold the 90 to 92 dash that I'll weld into the Formula 350. I took those out of one of the parts cars that I bought. But... This is the heap for 600 bucks. Uh, some would say it's not worth 600 bucks. Uh, you probably won't even go look at it for someone paid you 100 bucks to go look at it. For me, I already looked at it anyways because you never know what you're going to get until you go look at something. So I saw the harness, great transmission. Eh, don't really need a five speed. And then looking around in the car. These were sitting in the back seat. I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm not really going to say TPI, so I don't really need it, but maybe I could sell it. And then move a little bit more garbage. And now we got the matching lower intake. So we got Elderbrock high flow runners for a TPI, Elderbrock high flow lower intake for a TPI. Eh, I'm not saying TPI. Maybe I could sell this stuff for a couple bucks. What sold me were the brand new Elderbrock Performer RPM heads. I bought this whole car for $600. I think I could get my money back out of selling the TPI stuff if I decide to sell it. I've already saved half of my money on aluminum heads since I have them now, which these are the heads that I wanted in the first place for $350. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a mathematician, but I think this worked out really well. So, that's why you go look at stuff. You never know what you might find on the inside. That's it. That's the second one. That gets chopped up and sell pieces off of it. That's it. That's what I got.